budget. Mangla, might I guess more money for people to spend? More money for people to spend, but more importantly, money for people to spend in the rural areas of the country. Why is that? Because rural India accounts for nearly 35% of FMCG sales, and rural demand itself has been struggling for the last four to six quarters itself. In terms of companies, you know, Dabur has nearly 50% of its revenues coming in from rural, as does Imami. For HUL, it's 40% of their revenues coming in from rural, but by, uh, you know, HUL's base, it is actually the largest rural company in India when it comes to the FMCG space. We have Colgate, Barco, Britannia. GCPL and Nestle are more urban-focused, uh, as is Tata Consumer, though they are increasing their exposure to rural India as well. So those will be the stocks which will be in focus. The key to track, uh, you know, not only rural uh, demand is important for the FMCG space, but ahead of general elections as well. SOPs for, uh, you know, coming in for consumption through more money in people's hands. What is it that the government can do? And these are things that they can actually do in a vote on account. Continue to extend the food and fertilizer subsidies, boost affordable housing. More affordable housing would mean more paint required, increase focus towards job creation and rural development, and up the MG and Rega allo allocation and announce some more agri screens, uh, uh, schemes as well. A couple of things we need to watch out for, policies for increase in agri farm income, skill development, urban development, as well as any form of personal tax uh, reduction, though, though that is low probability given it's a vote on account. But more hands, uh, more money in the hands of rural India definitely is on the cards. Okay, all right, Manglam. Thanks very much for that. Uh, well, that's the expectation on the FMCG space, but it seems.